So what are the three things you've got to consider if you're thinking about joining a golf club, right? We've all started playing more golf, Josh being one of them. Start of COVID, you hadn't joined a golf club. Now you're a member of a golf club. Yep. Okay, so I think it's a big thing. More people are playing golf, but should you join a golf club or shouldn't you? Me and Josh are gonna talk about it in today's video and hopefully helps you make a decision. Also, taking him down off the whites. Welcome back to a brand new video, guys, here on XLA Golf. Let's get to it. Right, I'm gonna take you down off the whites. This is a bit of a minging hole, this one, actually. Right, I'm gonna give you a shot. I'm gonna get them probably tanned over this. In throughout the right. Fady one. This one shot. Grow up. Here we go. Sit, sit. Yes, I'm looking right. I do fade it. That was a decent hit, that, though. That was a decent hit. Look at the ball. Not happy with that one. He's all right, though, guys. He's all right. He's just not happy with it. Okay, Josh, so it's there's no real point me telling the guys this and yeah. telling everybody on the channel this because I'm, I'm not joining a golf club. You are pretty much... 80% of the people who have just started playing golf. So what are the yeah. things that you considered, number one? Well, the first thing that I considered was how often I was going to be playing. Yeah, because you were just playing like pay and play, weren't you, all the time? Pay and play, pay and play, and it was just getting expensive. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it got to a point where me and a couple of friends were like, right, well, we're pay playing that often. Why why don't we look at joining? Yeah, yeah. Get Find the right club, and we'll move on to that later on, obviously, but find the right club, look at joining, and then weigh up the options then. So did you look at a few different places? Looked at a few different places, a few different options and there was a couple things that came into our decision but it was more of finding the right club and also price was a big one thing is though like because I, I, I think about it this way if you're I think about it this way if you're gonna play three times a week it's an absolute no-brainer yeah to join a golf club if you're gonna play once a month then you no probably point yeah pay and play, play. In that situation but it got to the point where we were playing three sometimes four times a yeah, week. Yeah, yeah and even if you're getting at a decent rate at 15 even 20 quid but also so you're, gonna, you're probably going to be able to play a better level of golf course if you join yeah. somewhere. Yeah, yeah. and right. your golf's going to improve as well. Could well, go, wah, he's got to improve. <laughs> no, I'm joking. He has. <laughs> okay, let's hit this shot away. Uh, both, well, Josh in the semi-rough. I'm in the semi-rough there as well. Let's smash this away. And let's point out number two, which I think is a big two. The big next two are really big, important points that I think you've got to think about when joining a golf club. If I was in your shoes, Josh has been in your shoes. Listen up. How far have we got? One twenty? One twenty, I think. Yeah, that seems about right. Seems about right. What could go very wrong. What are we batting with? Uh one twenty. I'm gonna go pitching wedge. Little shitty pitching wedge. Yeah, this goes. Still stiff. Have you heard it all now? Sounds like your average club golf for this. Stiff, blame it on everything else. Take ownership of your game, mate. <laughs> A bit right, go! Go! Oh, just it's alright, just chipping. Just chipping. 120. I reckon, what you say, I've got 10 yards less? Five. Five yards less. Ten yards. Build a bloody estate between us there. <laughs> right, come on. He's got a shot here. Josh has missed the green. Down, 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 down. That's pretty good, mate. That's pretty good. Yeah, sure it's nah, getting serious now. Jacket is off. Just short. He's got a shot. Let's have it. Point number two, the second thing we think you should consider. What is it? So price was is obviously a big point for everyone. Definitely, because it's 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 an expensive hobby, or it can be. It can be very expensive, especially when you're buying balls every week as well. <laughs> <laughs> Got shares in a big retail this boy. <laughs> but the thing that we considered is we're paying 15, 20 quid. How many rounds would you have to pay to play if yeah. you join yeah, yeah, yeah. and worked it out that way, worked it back and if you we worked out that if we played something like two and a half rounds a month 
Yeah. Making... I mean, like you were doing that a week. Oh, exactly. exactly. <laughs> but also, I think with that, like, so num point number two is how much it's going to cost and how many rounds yeah. are you playing. Yeah. They're really important. You're going to break it down. You basically worked it out how yeah. many times you have to play. Yeah. But if you think about it this way, you're going to get a lot more for your money and you're probably going to go and actually play nine holes here and there. Exactly. That's something that we found yeah. is in an evening after work, we go in and we are playing nine holes. Like, do I get out and get a quick nine holes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like, you, could, you can do that. It gives you the facility that like, you don't have to book on somewhere. Yeah, you don't have to go and pay for 18 and then. Yeah, exactly. That. Right, point number three coming right up once we've chipped on. Tricky one. Tricky one for the boy. Oh, you've just gone and played a gem. Get in, get in. Oh. Oh. Someone's been, someone's been practicing, hasn't he? <laughs> so, obviously, this whole situation with COVID has been absolutely terrible, but there's got, if there's a silver lining with this for the golf industry, I think so many more people are taking up what we all see if we've already played golf as a wonderful, beautiful game that we all enjoy. Hopefully, everybody sticks around to play, and definitely, I think, if you're gonna stick around and play, if you're gonna actually enjoy your golf and play some really nice golf courses, if you can, my personal opinion is, I think you should join somewhere. Josh has lasered it in close there. I ultimately need to hold this, I think. So look how close he's put it in there. I'm gonna chip over that bad boy. Throw it in the cat can't catch it, can he right now? <laughs> so guys, if you are enjoying this content, let me know. I think it's something brand new on my channel. Obviously, we do main things are instruction on here. I just thought it was quite a poignant topic that was interesting for us all to listen. And if you are enjoying the content, please do hit the thumbs up button. And I would love for you to join the family by hitting that big red subscribe button as well, as well as hitting that bell notification to not miss any of the tips that could transform your game. Simple tips. So we've been talking about actually joining a golf club, but have you joined a golf club? If you have, comment down below and tell us exactly where you've joined or where you're already currently a member. Hopefully, if you've not joined somewhere, this could be the video that helps you think or makes the correct decision. So, so far, we're on about are you going to play enough golf and is it value for money? So working out how many rounds you're going to play each month to make it worth your money. I think this needs to really go in. It's a good job of being practicing that short game. Could be some golf left in that, you giving me that? Absolutely not. Oh, my neck. Now, actually, for me, it's been great. So all my friends, there's three of my friends, Carl and Josh and Sam, Josh is behind the camera you've seen on this video, have all joined Northern and Golf Club here in Manchester. So for me, it's been great because they've actually been interested in golf. We've gone on golfing trips away. So actually, guys, on that note, do you want to see a golf vlog of us four playing on a trip away? I'm going to go first, see if you've got the minerals to hold that. So basically, you're going to leave you a smelly little three, four footer to take the money, to take the money. So remember, one more point that I think is the most important point you've got to think about coming up after Josh has missed that four footer. Whoa. Sounds like I'm really horrible to you right here. <laughs> Solid as a rock. For the money. For the money. Show me the money. Whatever you do, don't leave it short. Whatever you do, don't leave it short. Oh, oh, solid in. as a rock. No problem there. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. He has been playing more golf than me. <laughs> Righty ho. Point. Whoa, we did Tiger. Um, point number three. I think this is the biggest and best point that Josh and well, Carl and Sam all came up with because they joined together. I think actually, I'm going to add something to it before this. I think joining with friends is definitely yeah, a good thing absolutely, as well. Absolutely, yeah. You know, you always got someone to play with. Yeah. Um, as much as golf clubs are very welcoming, and especially nowadays. Very, well, very I'm well going to say something though. I bet you that um, there are some golf clubs, right? that have got a stigma of not being that way. And I think they've got to change. If they're gonna get people like our age, younger people in the game of golf, which are the future of the game of golf, it's, yeah. it's gotta be a little bit, or the thing is, I gotta be careful. The thing I'd say is, is lose the stigma of that. Yeah, exactly. Because you're right saying it is a stigma and the golf course previously had in the past. Yeah. 
Whereas now, especially where we, we joined, you've always yeah. got a game with someone. Yeah, yeah, perfect, that's what you want. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so third point, what is it? So the third point we took into account, and we played a couple of different courses, so finding the right course, yeah. but also how can I get there? Can I get there after work? If I, if I want to sneak on a quick nine holes at R5, how long is it going to take me to get there? That was a big one for us. Like, for example, we joined Northern and it's 10 minutes away from home and work for me. Absolutely. So. I mean, it's pretty much the same for everybody, isn't it? Yeah, like, exactly. So it's on the other two way home, which is yeah. why it makes it absolutely hand, handy to play all the yeah. time. But the important thing is try a couple of courses out. Mm. Find the one that you, you like the most. Try before you buy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Right guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. My arm is aching now because this camera is insanely heavy. But I think that is some really good points for you to think about. If you're going to join a golf club, make sure you take those three points into account. If you already remember, hopefully you enjoyed that and looked into the reasons why people like Josh, who are new, not new to the game of golf, which you've always played, but yeah, you, new yeah. to being a member of a golf club. Yeah. yeah. And uh, hopefully that helps more golf clubs get more members and understand what people are looking for. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and see you tomorrow for some more tips.